because it's like often neglect open strings and open chords. And the beautiful sounds they produce. The Led Zeppelin's Rain Song starts with a G5 chord. You got your G and your D is a five and another G. And I'm placing myself ready to play the, the next chord, which is a dominant um, major seventh, G major seventh. And the other thing, that, that reverse strumming. And the other song I thought of was uh, Josie by Steely Dan, that's played by one of the greatest guitarists, blues rock guitarist Larry Colton. That opening sequence and those opening four chords, mind blowing. And those chords, um, F major 9, F sharp 7 over F sharp 9, D over G, A flat. Major seven, and then a humble E flat, E minor, E minor. Once again, you got your E, your dominant seventh, the D. Major six, down the chords, E flat to E. your hand stretch out. Now remember that other chord that uh, Sting's guitarist Miller uses, the D6. Start getting your hand stretched out into these positions and that uh, beautiful chord of late Alan Oldsworth. You go name it, you know your intervals by now. If you don't, check my channel. I've got lessons on how you determine the intervals with reference to the major scale otherwise known as the Nashville numbering system developed in the mid to late 50s I believe and um, fingering these exotic chords I find is very exciting and there's a, a A6 and then the, the E9 and then your C sharp minor 11 that's your 11th extension to a C sharp it's going to give you some random intervals here. A major seventh, A dominant seventh, A minor seventh, and then half A minor, half diminished, D seven. jazz chords maybe you can introduce into your rock and roll and blues as well thanks for watching and all my trivia and i hope you're getting something from this because we're on this lifelong musical journey together and all subscriptions are welcome